Hi, I'm Ollie, Jack of all trades and Obtainium engineer. I'm here at the Fryers Forest Research and Development Workshop, and I've got a new project to share with you. After Solidarity's 1968 Toyota Stout EV conversion that we did about a year and a half ago, I was really keen to start to electrify my transport. And what better way than cutting down many trips in this awesome old ute that only have 100 kilos or less of tools. Total waste of its one and a half ton carrying capacity. So I set about building myself a monster electric cargo bike to be able to carry up to 100 kilos of tools 25 kilometers away, so 50 kilometer round trip between here and the Celidary farm and processing factory where I do maintenance. And to do that, I used Grin Technologies Motor Simulator and Trip Simulator and all their awesome information they have on their website and their amazing videos that they provide that get right into how it all works. And I learnt a stack from that and I was able to design this beast. And over the last year, I've done 1,300 kilometers on it. And it works. It does what the simulation suggested. I can carry my 100 kilos of gear and come and go to the farm. Thanks so much guys for helping me being able to build that. Your information's amazing. So that the information worked to help me to design it. And I, I designed the frame and all that sort of stuff and it's my first bike I've ever built. So it's not perfect, but I mean, it works. I'm really happy with it. Uh, bike builders would probably cringe and go, they could do better, but of course they've had practice but I'm really happy with that. But in terms of the electrical design and the components required to be able to handle that amount of weight on the particular hills around here, yeah, I was able to figure all that out with Grin's trip simulator that actually allows me to put in all the hardware and my particular trip. So good. So awesome information from Grin and then got hardware from them got the Cycle Analyst V3.1 and two motor controllers from them that can work in tandem. And then the two motor controllers drive the two uh, electric motors, the one in the front wheel and the one in the rear. So the rear is a Barfang G62 sourced through Grin. The front motor here is by Mac, as you can see there on the hub, uh, built for Mario e-bikes. It's pretty similar to a G-Mac. It's got an L1019 uh, connector and it's clutchless. It's also got an onboard charger, uh, 1.2 kilowatt, which is a combination of a, essentially a power supply and uh, a Victron solar charge controller that also enables me to charge it via solar. Um, and a bunch of other little electrical stuff to allow me to turn on and off headlights, a DC to DC converter to make 12 volt. I can't forget, the little DigiAux pot, which is in combination with the multifunction switch. Amazing functionality out of that. We can have a look at that later. That's like cruise control functionality uh, in there. And with me being able to set the speed that I want to cruise at. And like the way this works is really nice. Like Green have done a lot of work to try and get the way their motor controllers work and how you can program it and how it all comes up on the display and everything. It's pretty damn cool. I can, I can just hold the throttle and it'll auto, auto lock and it's easy to get out, don't worry about that. It'll, it'll auto lock uh, electronically and I can let go of the throttle and then I can just set the speed I'm going at. So I come to the first steep hill and it powers on and takes me up the hill and gets to the other side and the power backs off, it's cruise control. And then if I'm running away going too fast, it starts regening and keeps me from going too fast, keeps me at the desired speed. It's like really nice. Anyway, so let's take it for a ride. I'm really excited. I haven't ridden it since I've repainted it and everything. It looks really nice. It looked it looked very uh, uh, rustic, I guess, kind of uh, Mad Max look before. And some people thought that uh, I should keep it that way, but decided to paint it. I think it looks great. We've put in the effort to route all the cables properly. Wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully be in the running for the Grin It to Win It competition. Yeah, I'm really proud of the cargo bike and I'm really, really grateful of all the awesome information that Grin provide that helped me to 
bring my my vision and dream to fruition and it works so anyway you, you better see it working let's take it for a ride back pedal and I'm using the throttle to gently regen down here. Seamlessly start pedaling and transition to, to throttle. Back pedal again and going to regen. Just got a gentle amount of regen on that initial engagement without having to use any throttle. Come off and off the regen by just pedaling forward. This is the roughest track. This is the little bit just to get out of my place onto the bitumen. And this is the bit that's probably least well suited to the cargo bike. But with a full load, you have to go pretty slow here because the bike's only got the fat tires as suspension. So you just gotta not ask too much of it. Don't wanna get that front wheel jumping off the ground. Try and do this difficult bit one handed. Let's see. Oh, a bit tricky. Just have to take it slow. Okay. Now, this is where the cargo bike's much more comfortable, is on the bitumen. Regen current coming in there. Big negative figure in the bottom left hand corner. That's battery amps. Might be able to see the power on the display there. There you go. I've set it limited to four and a half kilowatts, so it'll peak at that.
I'll just gently rage in. This is one of the little towns on commute up to the farm. Can't be too bad. Hey, if I can turn around one handed, the handling isn't that bad. I mean, it's awkward, but it's not that bad. Beautiful time of year. There's some kangaroos. And there it is. Cyclops, the custom obtainium long john, long tail <laughs> cargo bike. Fries for us, research and development, new maintenance vehicle. Very happy with it. 1300 Ks on it, and just a cheeky 20 Ks then. Half of it was uh, with one hand while you guys were watching. Pulling up to four and a half kilowatts on the big hills. I even managed to turn around one-handed. It can't be that unwieldy if I can turn around one-handed. It's long, it's unwieldy, it's heavy, but I love it. It's so good. <laughs> uh, that was a heap of fun, but, but I am realizing how many things I haven't really mentioned. If you guys want a deep dive video into all the nitty gritty details, Put a comment down below and if I get enough interest, I'll do a follow up video with more of that. A bit in the style of Justin's deep dive videos that he's done. I've learned a lot from those as I mentioned and uh, if there's lots of other people who are keen, I'm happy to do one of those. But you know, there's only so much you can pack in one video. Uh, we do have coming up the wood gas hybrid electric truck project as well. So uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, give me feedback if you didn't. Tell me what, what things you want to see. If uh, things, I'm sure there's things I've missed. But um, overall, it's just a heap of fun. It's been an awesome learning journey. And I'm really, really grateful uh, to the Grin team for all they've been creating for years. Um, yeah, when people just love what they do, man, it shines through. Really. So love you guys. Keep at it, and yeah, I'm going to keep doing my crazy stuff as well. This is just the latest iteration in my crazy journey. So thanks for coming along for the ride, and uh, see you soon. <laughs>